Insects exhibit a range of mouthparts, adapted to particular modes of feeding. The earliest insects had chewing mouthparts. Specialization has mostly been for piercing and sucking, although a range of specializations exist, as these modes of feeding have evolved a number of times and aphids both pierce and suck. However female mosquitoes feed on animal blood whereas aphids feed on plant fluids. In this page, the individual mouthparts are introduced for chewing insects. Specializations are generally described thereafter. Evolution, like most external features of arthropods, the mouthparts of hexapoda are highly derived. Insect mouthparts show a multitude of different functional mechanisms across the wide diversity of species considered insects. Significant homology is conserved, with structures being formed from the same basal cell lines, and having the same evolutionary origin. On the other hand, even analogous structures may not share true homology, and are only easily comparable due to convergent evolution. Chewing insects Examples of chewing insects include dragonflies, grasshoppers and beetles. Some insects do not have chewing mouthparts as adults but do as larvae such as moths and butterflies. Equals mandible equals. Chewing insects have two mandibles, one on each side of the head. The mandibles are positioned between the labrum and maxillae. They are typically the largest mouthparts of chewing insects, being used to masticate food items. They open outwards and come together medially. In carnivorous chewing insects, the mandibles can be modified to be more knife-like whereas in herbivorous chewing insects, they are more typically broad and flat on their opposing faces. In male stag beetles, the mandibles are modified to such an extent that they do not serve any feeding function, but are instead used to defend mating sites from other males. In ants, the mandibles also serve a defensive function. In bull ants, the mandibles are elongate and toothed, used as hunting appendages. In bees, which feed primarily by use of a proboscis, the primary use of the mandibles is to manipulate and shape wax, and many wasps have mandibles adapted to scraping and ingesting wood fibers. Equals maxilla equals, situated beneath the mandibles, paired maxillae manipulate food during mastication. Maxillae can have hairs and teeth along their inner margins. At the outer margin, the galea is a cupped or scoop-like structure, which sits over the outer edge of the labium. They also have palps, which are used to sense the characteristics of potential foods. Equals labium equals, the labium is a quadrupedal structure, although it is formed from two fused secondary maxillae. It can be described as the floor of the mouth. With the maxillae, it assists manipulation of food during mastication or chewing or, in the unusual case of the dragonfly nymph, extends out to snatch prey back to the head where mandibles can eat it. In the honeybee, the labium is elongated to form a tube and tongue, and these insects are classified as having chewing and lapping mouthparts. Equals hypoparynx equals, the hypoparynx is a somewhat globular structure, arising from the base of the labium. It assists swallowing. Siphoning insects. This section deals only with sucking insects, not those that pierce prior to sucking. The typical example is the moths and butterflies, although as is always the case with insects, there are variations. Some moths have no mouth parts at all. All but a few adult Lepidoptera lack mandibles, with the remaining mouth parts forming an elongated sucking tube, the proboscis. Equals proboscis equals, one of the more defining characteristics of Lepidopterans is their coiled proboscis. It is held coiled under the head when not in use. During feeding, however, it is extended to reach the nectar of flowers. The proboscis is a long tube that is formed by heavily modified maxillae, specifically the galea. Piercing and sucking insects, a number of insect orders have mouth parts that pierce food items to enable sucking of internal fluids. Some are herbivorous, like aphids and leafhoppers, while others are insectivorous, like assassin bugs and mosquitoes. Equals proboscis equals, the defining feature of the order Hemiptera is the possession of mouth parts where the mandibles and maxillae are modified into a proboscis, sheathed within a modified labium, which is capable of piercing tissues and sucking out the liquids. For example, true bugs, such as shield bugs, feed on the fluids of plants. 
Predatory bugs such as assassin bugs have the same mouthparts, but they are used to pierce the cuticles of captured prey. Equals still at equals. In female mosquitoes, all mouthparts are elongated. The labium encloses all other mouthparts like a sheath. The labrum forms the main feeding tube, through which blood is sucked. Paired mandibles and maxillae are present, together forming the stilet, which is used to pierce an animal's skin. During piercing, the labium remains outside the food item's skin, folding away from the stilet. Saliva containing anticoagulants, is injected into the food item and blood sucked out, each through different tubes. Sponging insects. Equals labellum equals, the housefly is the typical sponging insect. The labium gives the description, being articulate and possessing at its end a sponge-like labellum. Paired mandibles and maxillae are present, but much reduced and non-functional. The labium forms a proboscis which is used to channel liquid food to the esophagus. The housefly is able to eat solid food by secreting saliva and dabbing it over the food item. As the saliva dissolves the food, the solution is then drawn up into the mouth as a liquid. The labellum surface is covered by minute food channels, formed by the interlocking elongate hypopharynx and epipharynx, which form a tube leading to the esophagus. The food channel draws liquid and liquefied food to the esophagus by capillary action. References External links, form and function, the insect head, labeled photos.